Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro, and my name is Matt. Uh, we are going to be doing another what's sold today. So, uh, we sold 23 postcards for $137. That was all on eBay. Nothing on hip, big shocker there. Uh, let's jump in and take a look. Boom. Here we go. So, these uh, first two both went to the same buyer. Um, and they sold each for uh, about the same amount of money. Um, $8.95 plus shipping. Uh, I picked these up uh, some time ago. I don't actually remember the lot that I, I picked them up in. But uh, we've got two, both of the San Francisco fire. We've got looking up Market Street uh, from the ferry building during the fire. Interesting, these were both addressed to Germany, but never sent. And then uh, this one here, which is Market and Front Street in San Francisco during the fire. So uh, I might have picked these up in an antique booth. I mean, this price here tells me that could have been the case. But yeah, each sold for $8.95 plus shipping. Got a uh, nice exaggeration jackrabbit. Howdy from Nebraska, punching cattle on a jackrabbit. Uh, so there we go. This one here sold for $2.95 plus shipping. Love these exaggeration cards. Some of them are pretty hilarious. Movie theater in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. This is U.S. military, published by the Thompson Company, uh, World War II era, almost for sure. May have been World War I. used for the USO. Yeah. My guess is probably actually World War World War II, but it, it definitely could have been World War I. In any case, this one sold for $6.76 plus shipping. All right. We have a uh, Kepler Cascades in Yellowstone Park, Wyoming. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's anything to it. The red letter thing on the postcard. I put it in the subject line. Just I've, I've tried out, you know, give it a shot. Uh, this is not a Haynes. It's a Bloom Brothers, which is a little bit of unusual, I guess. There we go. And I actually see the type came through here on the left. Uh, this one here sold for $2.95 plus shipping. Nice large letter greeting. Uh, linen from Iowa. Big old letters on this one. This came almost certainly from uh, the auction pickup I did from Michon's auction down in uh, Alameda, California about a year back. Sold for $4.95 plus shipping. Uh, I pretty much list every single large letter reading that comes across my possession because they pretty much all sell eventually. Nice Four River Shipyards in Quincy, Massachusetts. Uh, this likely came either from the uh, from just in time flipping. Uh, it may have come as well from uh, the Colorado auction I went to at the beginning of January. Could be could go either way. I'm I, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, it did sell though. Didn't take too long because I only listed it uh, right after I came home for seven dollars and fifty five cents plus shipping. Here we have a uh, linen postcard, Kings Canyon, California, the Christmas ceremonies at the General Grant Tree. This is the second time I sold the card. Uh, the first time the buyer didn't pay. So I just went ahead and relisted it and it sold. Uh, $7.95 plus shipping. Here is a, a pleasant drive at Lake Quichi, Canaan, New York. Um, probably a generic view is my my guess, but uh, you know, no way to be sure unless you I go there and look or find an actual photograph of this location. In any case, uh, it sold for six dollars ninety five cents plus shipping. Here we have a beet sugar factory in Waverly, Iowa. Uh, sold for seven fifty five. This came from the uh, recent collector lot I picked up. Uh, 
I find it interesting. There's a hand-drawn X over this building, as if to say that's where they work. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, writing a uh, nice message back home. There was a lot of this one out there. Uh, so I basically just chose to undercut the competition and get it sold. $7.55 plus shipping. Nice uh, Hawaii Island Curio postcard divided back. Rice Fields and Diamond Head. Diamond Head being this guy back here. Uh, this one sold for $14.95 plus shipping. Peterson's Rock Garden between Redmond and Bend, Oregon. Uh, this, this card and the next four after it um, all went to the same customer. Uh, the first two sold for a combined of $7.57. So this first one is a uh, real photo, Peterson's Rock Garden between Redmond and Oregon, Bend, Oregon. This is the Oregon State uh, uh, hatchery, fish hatchery in uh, Bonneville, Oregon. So these two sold for a total of $7.57. And then the next three sold for a total of $15.18. We have the State Capitol Building in Salem, Oregon, divided back, 1910. Seen some better days. This is a really nice one in Portland, the Lambert Gardens of the fountain, or of the uh, statue, rather. And finally, Washington High School, also in Portland, Oregon. So th those three cards sold for a total of 1518. Uh, along with two more to the same customer for $7.57 were, you know, $23 plus shipping purchase. Not too bad. Next up, we have uh, two Lake County, California postcards, both going to the same customer. Uh, sold for a total of $11.90. So we have Bridalville Falls, Kelsey Lakes. Oh, there's Bridalville Falls, my mistake. Kelsey Lakes. So these two right there, 1190, same customer. Uh, this one was on a recent Popeyes video. And strangely enough, I uh, had one to list that same day in my listing pile, and it listed that same day. So I've sold this card a number of times. I think Popeye mentioned he has as well. Uh, if you see this linen postcard and you can get it for a quarter for 50 cents, put it up. It's going to sell. Um, this one did for $3.95 plus shipping. It's the Earl Carroll Theater in uh, and restaurant in Hollywood, California. There's a couple of uh, similar views of the same restaurant as well. They all sell equally well. This is Ohio. Let's see the whole thing. There we go. St. Mary's, Ohio, the Miami Erie Canal, Lock 13, Chestnut Street. That's a mouthful. Uh, but lock 13 is really what's all important there. You want to get that in. Uh, sold for $2.95 plus shipping. This color on this one is, is pretty true to what it looks like. And it's just a it's just kind of a weird, weird looking postcard. You've got this really like dark emerald green water, and then this bright blue up at the top with almost a split split image. It, it's just interesting from a composition standpoint, I think. Uh, we have Chicago's greatest hotel value, the Hotel Planters in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, this and the next card both went to the same customer. They're in for $7.51 plus shipping. So we have this one and the next, Hotel LaSalle. Uh, sorry, pardon me, the LaSalle Street Railway Station in Chicago, Illinois. Unposted. So that and the one previous sold for $7.51. And finally, this one. I've sold this card a couple of times too now. Uh, this is really nice. Um, a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We have the Skyline and the uh, Whitfield Street Bridge with the titles on all the buildings at the time, which is always nice to see. And then it's a Albertype company, um, really early Albertype for, I mean, 1906. So uh, this one sold overnight. I just listed it yesterday for $14.95 plus shipping. 
Uh, I may have been able to get a little bit more out of it. I could have probably put it up for 20. Um, but you know, I'm happy with it. Getting some of the money back. I, uh, had on my recent purchase. So still a ways to go on that. Every little bit towards profitability is going to be a help at this point. So that is that. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back again soon with another what sold video. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button uh, or subscribe. That's always good too. And there's some other ways you can support the channel down below. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.